Hey, this is Sleek Out Doug. I wanted to let all of you know that I am super stoked about the new update that came out on July 16th, 2019. And these are the top five reasons why I think it's awesome. Number one, I love the new interface. I think it's beautiful. Um, I, I haven't shared this on here before, but I have tritinopia, which is blue light color blindness. So I have a lot of trouble seeing blue, like on Facebook. But this actually, they did a really good job of accommodating that. The contrast is so good. I can actually see what I'm doing with it even with all the massive amounts of blue, the little bit of shades that I can see, um, it looks great. Um, you can customize the pictures if you don't like the first one that pops up. So I love it. Second thing that I love about it is they fixed a lot of problems with the game. They did not just give cosmetic, oh, here's five new outfits, um, but we never bothered fixing it. They fixed stuff. For me personally, when I would shut down the game in the past, it would take about an hour to shut the game down. It really was very annoying, and they fixed it. I shut it down last night, and it closed like within a few seconds. It's great. The third thing, this did not break any mods, and that has actually been announced on Scarlet's Place. She organizes all the mod creators. I have actually tested mine. They work fine. I have the University mod linked on this channel. I also have the Faith mod, which includes a wizardry career and several other careers, and they work fine. I had tested it, no problems with it. The fourth thing that I love about this new update are the cars. We've been wanting cars for so long, and really, the, doing that bracket thing with the little model cars, it just wasn't doing it. These are great. I just created the Automus family a few days ago, and Peter can have a news van now. I am so happy about that. And they unlocked a lot of other items. It's a great update. And I have the link to all the, the places where you can go to get all the information on the mod. And finally, the fifth thing that I love is the new system of making personality traits. You have two options available. You can use the old-fashioned system, or you can do the storytelling. And what I think is great about that is it is a lot like The Sims 2, which is just a completely awesome, without parallel game. That I kind of figured out how they they designed the personality traits. It was based on a test called the Big Five, and they gave different levels of how outgoing or shy they were, how active or how lazy they were, and how friendly versus mean that they were. All those things, it worked into the Big Five. The beauty with this new system is you can actually just get, like if you want to make Gil a Goopy Gills Carbo, into a sim in the sims 4 all you have to do is look up the stats you can find those on sims wiki and then you can actually just answer the, the questions accordingly or you can use my converter i have that linked also in the information and that is just amazing it makes it so much easier i have actually done a huge amount of study on MBTI and Big Five, Socionics, all those things. There are certain traits that are very common to uh, each personality type. Like, for example, an ISFP probably loves nature and art and they're a loner. You kind of have to like manually go through all that. And with this, it does it for you. So it's quite a bit easier. And if you know somebody that you want to make in there, and you know they have the traits that are friendly and they're neat and active. You know, you can just type that in there and it will show you what traits are appropriate. So that's that's just fantastic. So thank you, Maxis. I love the July 16th, 2019 update. It's great. You all did a fantastic job. And I definitely, I'm very happy with it.